the day. It's so humid this morning. You can tell by the windscreen, you can barely see through it. Today, Twin Elliot Falls. Fair drive, 350Ks, a lot of it unsealed road. Apparently it's a beautiful spot. There is a bit of an interesting creek crossing that I have to go through. But should be alright. This is the Batavia Downs shortcut, you might say. Rather than having to go all the way back down south, I can cut across here and then meet up again on what is technically the Telegraph Road to head up to Bramwell. Probably saves about 70 or 80. compared to the other day. smoother and I'm not the only one doing it. I'm assuming because the trucks don't run on here, you don't get the corrugations. Like this.
about. It's coming to Bramwell Roadhouse. Another number plate for the tree. In the early 1930s, Frank Monaghan first took up Bramwell as a pastoral lease, making it the most northern cattle station in Australia. He then passed it on to the Heinemann and Kennedy families, who jointly held it until the early 2000s. It was the Heinemann family who took up the tourism initiative. They would welcome touring buses and the odd single traveller to the homestead in the 1980s. The turn off to the homestead is six kilometres south of the junction. And as I've experienced before, offers relaxed bush camping with amenities. Home cooked meals are on the menu at night and usually come with entertainment, engaging the crowd that encourages you to linger a little longer. Until recently, Bramwell Junction and Bramwell Tourist Park were operated by the family partnership of Vince Bowyer and Wendy Kazinka. In 2022, the 235 million acre property was purchased by the Queensland Government for $11.5 million and handed back to its traditional owners. Realising the importance of tourism in the area, the traditional owners continue to welcome visitors to both Bramwell Station and the Junction. Bramwell Junction is most known amongst keen four-wheel drive enthusiasts as the start of the old telegraph track. These guys are doing it. <laughs> the OTT, as it is called, commences here and finishes some 200 kilometres north at the Jardine River. While well, some of the track is passable by any high clearance four wheel drive, some parts require a seriously modified vehicle as there is many river crossings that change in severity from one year to the next. The wet season floods erode the riverbanks, in some cases creating huge drop offs that have been the undoing of many vehicles. The first and closest to the junction is Palm Creek. Palm Creek is a true example of what lies ahead should you intend to take on this ultimate challenge. <laughs> Where I'm taking the easier route, it still has its own share of challenges. Well, bitumen didn't last long. back there, I can tell you. <laughs> Country's changing a bit. A little bit more rainforest. No idea where I am. Somewhere. On the developmental road. Captain Billy landing up to the right. That looks like a very small track. And that being said, I'll keep going this way. Amongst the rainforest. Technically, we're actually gonna be on the old tally track. That's it, to the left. <laughs>
Don't tell me these guys are going up to Elliot. Set up. It's just rained on me. Been hiding out under the covers, but seeing as I'm wet, I'm gonna head down the road and have a look at Elliot Twin Falls. With a beer, as you do. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Hear that? Getting close. See something going on down through the trees there. 